Well, hello everybody out there in Orlando. This is Chris from AngelLegacy.com with another exciting episode of Turbosar. We are back at Universal Orlando Resort today. It is a very busy day out here today. My camera's hecting up. It is hot today. We have a lot of stuff to see today. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started right away with seeing all the stuff that we get to see. There's a lot of stuff that's actually happening here in CityWalk with the Universal Orlando store, the new one, and the old Universal Studios uh, store here in CityWalk. Uh, it's kind of been transformed into a little bit of a uh, uh, sort of um, uh, sort of a history store, if you will, <laughs> a universal tribute store, if you will. But right now, let's not waste any more time. Let's look at all the goodies here in City Walk. Let's have some fun. So here is the current Universal Studios store. It's got a little bit of a name change, the Universal Legacy store. A little bit of a font change too. Kind of Batman the Animated Series uh, sort of font there. Art Deco as it were. Uh, Agent Legacy uh, initially had it had as its font, believe it or not. That was my one of my initial fonts. Uh, not saying anything, but it is what it is. Um, and of course up front we have the Universal Gargoyles, these things were featured on the top of the original Universal Studios archways. But Horror Nights fans might recognize these as ties into Legendary Truth, the Horror Nights game, as it were. As far as uh, most recently, back in 2013, um, with the Legendary Truth game that was that had sort of taken over for Horror on Earth. Uh, you'd have to activate your in park card if you were playing in, in in the park, and these were kind of like a marker where they were activating the card. So, um, so there you go. So these were so here they are. Another one over here. Here's the other one. Kind of in the shadows. I apologize. There you go. And for people curious out there on internet lands i do indeed have my game cards still handy there's the horror Earth card legendary truth card and the jekyll and hyde card from the legendary truth game it is what it is let's go inside and check out what they got in here there's a lot of cool props and things so we'll uh we'll, we'll spend some time in here so here we are inside the new legacy shop here we got some a lot of props and stuff from old Universal here. So this is from Terminator 2 3D. Arnold's Jack, of course. This was, I, I believe this was the same one that was inside the store before it became a born gift shop. A little kid in here. I don't need to worry about Harry Potter. I've seen enough of that. Got some Jaws stuff. Set pieces there. Some more Jaws stuff over here. There's a shelf that has Back to the Future stuff up there. It's the hoverboard. Doc's coat. Some more of this stuff over here. Some of these bigger props have listings as to what they were. This is from Ghostbusters the Attraction. And of course we've got a <coughs> proton pack. Another one. There's a giant Doom bot. There's, we've seen these fly pods before. These are in the Hornite Tribute store in 2019. Looks like they're going to go ahead and put some more stuff in these little display cases. Universal Legacy store. <clears throat> Got these screens here. These things move <clears throat> and they sort of reveal things inside the boxes. I find it very interesting these boxes say cursed. <laughs> Some of them do, fragile. There's one with a paper about the opening of Universal. They 
they open to reveal these some concept art for Islands of Adventure. The board. Harry Potter, of course, got some overhead looks at the parks here. And it's closing. There it goes. Pictures up there. So here's some more concept art for islands. Ghostbusters down there. Got some pictures. Looks like E.T. there. Ghostbusters. There's concept art for islands up there. Some more in front of us. Some construction pictures of islands. Very right, cool. Some old maps, which I do have these maps at home. <laughs> Believe it or not, a little prop for ET for the bicycles. We have to go back here. So this is a. Uh, very cool. Old school phones, pay phones. Some clothes. We got the Ghostbusters jumpsuits up there. A lot of stuff up here on these racks. The Terminator skull there. These top shelves have a lot of stuff. There's some more um, concept art for islands, or, or I should say the model for islands. A little plaque here for the whole coaster. What else you got, Peg? Is this a. Look at that, it's like all the costumes from the show. There's like so much stuff. Buy this, lots of I can't, I didn't remember this. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I love that. Medieval stuff, of you course, from islands. Ball. There's this is my killing dragons up there. Can you give her this envelope to this opening there? I don't know if they let me. Come on, me. Jurassic Park stuff. Got some ET stuff here. In fact, we actually have ET. <laughs> There's a little Halloween costume. Creepy. <laughs> Other stuff behind this main set of stuff here. There's some timeline things, trivia things to give you for the resort. So it's 95 to 2000. Over here, there's 86 to 93. Gives you a whole timeline of stuff. All up on the top here, they just they have these. This is from Seuss Landing stuff here. There's just stuff on, on pretty much every shelf. There's some more. This is 2017 to the present. <laughs> you even have the stores opening. <laughs> there you go. As there's a little powwow going on over here that will the model of Hogwarts. The dying guy. We're meeting there at 3.30? Yes. Oh, yes, I better listen to that. Um, that's a good tweet. Another prop here from Ghostbusters, another gargoyle. You can get uh, limited edition wands too now. I don't know how long. I haven't bought a wand in a while, so I don't know if this is new or not. But there you go. You'll get it there. There you go. So, New Legacy Store. Very cool. A lot of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. Got some ride attendant uh, things up there too. There's Hulk up there. Cyberdyne Systems. There of course, as we make our way to the studios, we're going to check on the uh, the new Universal Studios Store progress. They've added some more to the signs, of course. 
you got the sign there, and now it says Universal Studios Store, and then there's a little light up thingy that I think well will light up on that side. That they got working. Obviously they are working. There's that that center sign, but they've added another sign, so there's gonna be three entrances to this place. It looks like. Other sign is over there. There is your sign. There you go. Here is today's look. Town Production Central. Love the crowds. The New York City is Florida. The Spickle Me says 45, so that's not bad. It was 95 when we were here last week. 60 for Shrek. It was 100 minutes for Shrek last week. But a lot of people in masks in front of Spickle Me. I don't know what's going on over there. But not too bad. I mean, there are a lot of people walking around, but it is what it is. A lot of people, of course, right in front of the New Orleans. So, four beads. Pretty crowded over here. I'm gonna keep on walking. <laughs> so, last time we were here, they removed the red flowers that were in this bed, but today they've got some, uh, some new flowers. Those purple, I don't know what they're called, those uh, purple thingies that usually a lot of them on out in these beds here, but looks like they planted some in here. Some pink flowers now. That's good. We've got a date inside the Money Rock Tribute Store to check and see if they have any more wolf masks. So we're heading our way in there now. Alas, no more wolf masks. But this is um, the last couple weeks in the Tribute Store. It's been fairly quiet. Like the initial rush of the first couple weeks is over. <laughs> nobody cares. But there's nobody in here. So. Like a real walk through with like nobody around. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Quick check on Bruce. Still no Bruce. Gave our German friends an umbrella this week, so that's good. Very warm day out here at Universal. Very crowded day. Just kind of taking our time out here. Good times. Of course, the distribution at this point, a quick check. Oh, and then a black tent. All is fine. As we go through Springfield, it's been closed the last couple of weeks, but Thrill and Hurl is open today. Let's just show you the busy day. You got Krusty out. Go trail and hurl. He is open. Doc's staying cool. He's got his jacket off. Got his little 2015 shirt on there. Cool. His jacket's hanging on the, on the train there. Skinny Gang is out. And they're ducked out from Mardi Gras. <laughs> it only took them a month and a half to give them more ground outfits, but here we are. Inside the Born gift shop, all of that preview Beetlejuice merch that we saw is all gone. So there's nothing. Oh, I take that back. We have some purses left over. Some of these purses. But that is it. No more. That's gonna do it for us over at Universal Studios Florida for today. Just a quick, uh, quick walk around, see what's, uh, see what's new. They, had, uh, they did not have my Mardi Gras wolf mask uh, today, so we'll check again uh, next week and see if they restock. But it doesn't look like they're gonna restock. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep checking. But anyway, we're gonna take a quick, uh, quick loop around Alan's Adventure and then get out of here. It's very hot, very crowded. I need to go home. I gotta eat. So yeah, so let's continue on our journey for today. <laughs> Here are 
today's wait times at Alice Adventure. 85 for Kong. Uh, 65. So it looks like uh, 85 is the. Uh, oh, excuse me. 125 minutes for Jurassic Park. 100 minutes for Ripsaw. So the water rides, of course, so it's very hot today. Very popular. Once again, Hagrid's is not listed. So I know we didn't go by it last time, but I said I would, but we went on the bridge instead, so we'll look by it this time. Here is today's view of the Velocicoaster from across the lagoon. They have been running cars pretty systematically since I've been standing over here, so that's a good thing. We'll go across the Temp Bridge again, Bypass Bridge. Uh, you know, get a get a, our cool view over there. Uh, you know, it is what it is. The Heartline Roll, I had an idea. So, the Heartline Roll that goes right over the water there. I think Universal should hire Man vs. River to occasionally dive in that spot and find everything that has fallen out of people's pockets into the water over there. I think that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> or at least have something where they show, you know, what's, what people have lost out of their pockets in that point. So, but anyway, move on. We'll walk around, of course, get our normal views and then get out of here. It is very hot today, so uh, I'm getting a little tired, but move on. There we go, we got the virtual line set up for Hagrid's. We'll see what the wait time is on the board. <laughs> uh, it just says virtual line. So it looks like they're only doing the virtual line for Hagrid's. So I can zoom in there. So just a virtual line today for Hagrid's. Got some directional signs today pointing towards the, uh, the bridge. We've go we got some coaster action going on already. It's currently blocked off inside, but uh, on the bottom downstairs where you can watch the raptor egg and stuff like that hatch, uh, there's going to be lockers. So you have some locker situations, I think, happening uh, inside the Discovery Center uh, on the bottom floor. So just keep an eye out. Uh, right now it's currently blocked off, but there are locker sections, from what I'm told, on the bottom. So the more you know, people. A lot of noise is happening in there. And this, whatever this area is here, a lot of noises. There's a launch there, of course. Comes back out. We'll stand here and see if we can hear it fully next time they run a train. Sounds like Owen. Owen telling the Raptors to hang on. There it goes. It's going to come up over there. There it goes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it stopped. There it is. So it sounds like in this section is where we get Owen to to uh, have the Raptors go, so that's fun. Then Dilly Deer Ride Trips Our Falls has reopened from its refurbishment. Looks like it got a brand new spanking paint job. It's pretty good. Today we got three for the price of one. We got Captain America, we got Spidey, and we have Wolverine up on the stage today. Yes. 
Last week, of course, it was just Spidey. Well, here we are back in the car. Uh, I liked this so much last week, I thought I'd do it again. Just uh, me and you guys in the car, recapping our day, saying thank you for watching, of course. Today was a very hot day, if you once again cannot tell from the redness of my face. Uh, it is way too hot too early here in Florida. It is what it is. Um, I don't think it's supposed to get into the 90s until sometime, uh, the, the, I think at the end of April. Uh, but uh, today it hit like 90 degrees. It was 91 according to my car uh, thermometer when I got in. So I needed to get back and have some water. Uh, but yeah, so uh, a lot of stuff going on. City Walk has been kind of the uh, center of attention for a lot of vloggers and bloggers lately. Uh, with the new store and of course now with this uh, new legacy thing going on with the old Universal store. A lot of really cool stuff in there. I really like the whole uh, history vibe. Uh, one has to wonder if maybe it was supposed to be open uh, last year uh, when it was the 30th anniversary, the actual 30th anniversary uh, of Universal Studios Florida. Nevertheless, I digress. Uh, cool store, a lot of cool props. I like the uh, the screens that sort of uh, change and uh, give you like little hints and stuff like that of stuff that's in the boxes, uh, all the props and stuff. Very cool. Uh, but that's going to do it for us today. We got to uh, also got to see some of the Velocity Coasters, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, so uh, as usual, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys and see you guys next time.